What's up guys? We are now going to take Chris through a blood flow restriction workout with these bad boys. So if you want to have a go at this stuff, check out this company called Fit Cuffs. Um, you can find them on Instagram. These would be, I imagine, I know just for a fact, they're the best cuffs you can get. They're obviously very robustly made, nice bit of Velcro on it. It's going to stay in the right place throughout your workout, but also you can inflate them to a particular milligrams of mercury pressure, which means they're much more suitable for repeat workouts and increasing things like pain tolerance and getting things to be the same. We want to have as small a variable in our training as possible. If you're just putting on a band and tying it on, we don't know how tight that is, the level of tension, the level of like restriction. We want to get it right and these things allow us to do that. So we have a spig that comes in the box that allows us to do that. So this spig is something that we're going to connect, put it on Chris's legs and we're going to go through a workout. So as you will see as we go through, the level of uh, exercise discomfort is quite high, but it's worth the, the gains. So the benefits of using these aren't just singly for rehab, they're also for muscular development and we can get a great deal of muscular development far and above we got normally by training the same way we normally train maybe putting a bit more volume and more pumping sets into it but we're going to get blood flow into the limb but that's not going to allow blood to come back out of the limb so we're going to get an increase in lactic acid lactic acid increases cause a greater production of growth hormone locally in the area which is great for healing also growth and also we're going to get like some proliferation of muscle cells and increase in activation muscle cells by the fact we're getting cell expansion. So when people are chasing the pump, cell expansion, actually stretching the myofascia of the muscle, the sheath that wraps around the muscle, but also the cells themselves, getting muscular cell expansion is a trigger for growth, for hypertrophy. So we're looking at a number of different metabolic processes, along with the mechanical stress of loading that are going to cause an increase in hypertrophy. So we're gonna get on with a workout. We're gonna see if we're doing back-to-back -back stuff. We're gonna do a superset to begin with, with hamstrings and leg extensions. These two are gonna cause the most contraction at the shortened point for our quads and our hamstrings. And then we move on to a compound type movement after we've annihilated those <laughs> muscles. Um, so we're gonna see Chris go through this. We're gonna video the whole thing. Um, and then you can check this stuff out uh, on uh, your, at your leisure basically, so recommend them. We're going to get some more gains, more growth, and obviously any questions you want to answer or ask about these questions, these cuffs, then obviously feed them into me and Chris whenever you are able to do so. So we're going to crack on. <laughs> yeah. I've known him for a while. Um, yeah, he's a good guy. He's going to move your ball sack out of the way. We're going to get this up nice and high, man. Get so, there, John. Get gonna get it right up there. Yeah, we want to get this uh, on it's all right. nice and tight here. <laughs> Excuse fingers and all that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put the other one first, actually. Do you know why the, the girl was putting that gold paint on the other week? She was dead uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, it's fine, just get up there. Yeah. <laughs> what about bodybuilder we used to? We don't, we don't care about this shit. We used to have strangers touching. <laughs> we actually, we actually like this stuff. <laughs> I've never done professional tan though. You know, with the. Um, yeah. Just getting naked with the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've always done ours at home. You know, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do that years ago with people I used to compete with and pe paint it on. Have the. Uh, get the paintbrush and do it. It's fucking crazy shit. Yeah, because you couldn't do professional tan when I first started. Actually, I want you to jump, jump in the. Do they stay in place well though, as well? Yeah. yeah. They're really good, yeah. So I want to, you to flex your leg now for me, to so squeeze it, and then squeeze it. That's it, and relax. Just so we get a true level. What, do, do I, when I contract, and it's all high? Yeah, 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 it changes the, oh, what, yeah. yeah. So I put 140 in there, look. Yeah. Now we're back down to 120. So we're around, we're around about, how's that feeling? Tight? Yeah, quite tight. Okay, right, just relax a minute. Relax. So is that going to go down while, while it's on? No. That's it now, yeah. So there was research done recently about whether there's any benefit to having them on and then taking them off in between sets. Yeah. So it's intermittent blood flow restriction rather than continuous. And there was no real benefit. 
Um, in fact, it wasn't as good as keeping them on. The only thing that was improved was tolerability because yeah. it's pain. Yeah. The pain tolerance is, is obviously a lot less. The requirement is less. All right, if you squeeze your leg again for me. So we're going to do 30 reps from in the seated hamstring curl, straight into 30 reps on the leg extension. So, you good? Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a... <laughs> I know, it's a bit shit, isn't it? The leg press becomes really interesting as well. Right then, you good? You want to lay down, yeah? There we go. Right then, let's go. So 30 reps. Let's dig in. And one. Nice. And two. Good reps. And four. Let's keep going. Let's go, go, go. And go, let's go. And three, nice. And again. Two, this is gonna be 20. And 20, let's go. 10 to go, let's fucking dig in deep now, let's go. 10 reps, fucking strong. 10, and let's go. Nine, and go. Eight, and big squeeze. Seven, and go. Six, five, and go. Four, yeah, good, 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 good. And three, let's go. Squeeze, two, and go, all the way up, and one. Good shit, man, well done, nice. I know, it's a bitch, isn't it? Okay. It is very painful, yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spice up a little bit, but also get some like work for your knees to stop your knees hurting in sets. So we do some uh, isometric holds. So we're gonna hold for 20 seconds, and then do 20 reps. This is like a prelude. So I'll this, yeah, we're gonna hold, like I want you to try and lift the whole thing. So not, not do that, but we're gonna get like the hip flex and everything involved. If you just do this, leg extension, then you're gonna get this. So I want you to do a leg extension and then lift a little bit as well. So we'll incorporate everything and that's gonna give you like an analgesic effect. 20 second hold gives you 20, sec 20 minutes of free, pain-free leg work. It's fucking cool as fuck. And also it hurts like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right then, so we'll go up for 20 seconds, and we'll hold. And one, four, three, two, and one, and 20 reps, let's go. Fucking strong legs, let's go. And one, and two, three, nice, 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 nice. And go, four, strong, come on. Five, six, Seven. Yeah, drive. Eight. Nine. Yeah, fucking strong. Ten. Let's dig in. Ten reps. Let's go. Ten. And nine. Yeah, good, 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 good. Eight. And seven. Yeah, good work. Big squeeze. Six. And go. Five. And four, very nice. And three, two, and big, go, 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 big push, good, good shit, nice. Hey? Yeah, so the cardiovascular aspect of this, which hasn't been researched, so you start to feel like you're breathless as well a little bit, even though you're being occluded to a point, so it's restricted, and the blood's being trapped in your legs, you end up having almost like an increased uh, like respiratory rate because there's less blood in your system almost, yeah. uh, as I found. But it's not, there's no anecdotal research really, so. All right, then you good? Right, we'll go 25. Let's fucking have it, come on. Strong hand. And pull, pull, pull. Four, good. And go. Three. And go. Two. And go. And one. Good shit. Nice, nice. <laughs> it's beginning. Yeah, it is, yeah, it's, yeah, it's painful. <laughs> Squeeze up, 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 C5 him, let's go. Strong as fuck, let's see five, dig in, let's go. Five, yeah, good, good. Four, good, go. Three, and up, two, up, and one. Good shit, well done, well done. <laughs> They're looking bloated now, man, fucking big, swollen. So execution of reps is really important and what you saw Chris do there was a real nice time and attention leg extension where we're coming right at the top, pausing for a moment and down under control all the way to the bottom. So we're getting a full range of movement for the movement of the machine. 
so the quads are going to work much harder. The pain, the pain's like last couple of reps where you've done a high rep set. Yeah. But now it's good here now. It's not, it hasn't gone anywhere. Oh, yeah. Doesn't yeah. fucking go. You restart the set and it's still there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So there's, it's, it's, it's relentless. There's no break from the feeling of the lactic acid basically filling your leg with a full of blood and the volume is still there through every single set and even your rest point. It seems right. like getting in and out of the machine. Yeah, it's hard, yeah. Can't even get in and out. Oh. Right, it's You're doing good, man. <laughs> right. Okay, we're going to go 15, all right? Oh, One. Me. Come on, come on. Let's go. Oh. Two. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, let's go. 10 reps. Come on, you got this shit. Come on. Big fucking full fucking hammies. Right, let's fucking get this. Come on, come on. Come on, strong. Ah! 10, yeah, good. Ooh. Nine. Mm. Eight. Mm. Seven. Ah! Six, good. Ah! Five. Ah! Four, nice. Ah! Three. Two and one. Nice. Yeah, go then, go. You're good. Twelve. Let's go. Three more. One. Two. And go. Go, 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 go. All the way in. Three. Nice. Very nice, man. That's a beat down the pain. Yeah, it's just oh, the me. it's the tolerance. Yeah. It's like when you do like a normal workout now and you get high reps or supersets, the pain is nothing like it. So you can go further in your normal workouts because the pain tolerance is now built from doing this. All right, let's go. How many? Ten. Ten reps. Come on, you got this. Come on. Strong as fuck. One. Yeah, good. Let's go. Let's go. Two. And up. Up, up, up. Three. Up. Four. Nice. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Big squeeze. Eight. And up. Nine. And drive, 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 and 10. Good shit, well done. Have a breather. <clears throat> it's awful, isn't it? Hey? You got that side to you, not the camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So one of the benefits of using these cuffs is that if you have an injury uh, in your knee, for example, as I do, I'm unable to do any kind of leg work. I can't even like leg extension 25 kilograms. However, with the cuffs on, they, it produces an analgesic effect. So not only does it like inhibit pain at the time in the joint and the knee and the surrounding areas, it allows me to do my sets work up to at least 75 kilograms on my leg extension still get the, the muscular stimulus, but without any of the damage or pain I'm experiencing while doing it. Now, you might imagine that it's just blocking the pain because it's so painful. But what you find two, three, four days later is the actual pain in the knee itself is less than it was before. So it's a practical application of healing happening because of the increased growth hormone, because of the lactic acid that's caused during the workout. All right then, we're gonna hit 20 reps. It's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. I know, it's a bitch, isn't it? Oh, right, there you go, there we go. There we go, let's turn them out. Right, let's dig in, let's go. Fucking strong legs. Let's fight through that motherfucking pain. And one, good. Yeah. Got big legs. Two. We're getting all the adults to work now. Let's go, come on. Three, good. Let's go. And four, two. And one, good shit, well done. Nice.
So what you'll experience at this point is that you've got the pain wants you to take them off. You're thinking to yourself, I'm trying to get these fuckers off, but that's where the growth is. This is where your mental growth occurs and also your physical growth occurs as well. Right, let's dig in. Think all the fucking gains, man. Right, strong legs, let's go. Nice, let's go, easy weight. And one, good. Let's go, let's fire it up, come on. Big attitude, come on. Fucking hell, let's be a monster. Come on. Come and take a little bit out. Yeah, take a little bit out. And that'll be working. Yeah. Happy? Happier? Right. Right, let's dig in. Let's go. Come on. Strong as fuck. Come on. Let's go. Fucking easy 20. Let's go. One. And two. Two. Good. Last one. Strong as fuck, man. You're doing really good. Yeah, yeah. Good rep. Good rep. Good rep. Nice. There's a tipping point where you can only work so hard and lift so heavy because it becomes dangerous. And as a bodybuilder, we want to have longevity. Growing big muscles takes time. It takes a healthy physical set of attributes to get to that place. So we've got to be wise in how we start to stimulate muscle without constantly increasing weight because it becomes a negative impact on our bodies. So we've got to start our thinking outside the box is how to like, yeah, I can now leg press this incredible weight but what, are the, what stress is it causing to the rest of my body, my joints, my ligaments, my tendons, that kind of stuff. So compressive forces on the spine, for example, even in leg pressing. So we've got to think about now how, as we get more elite in our ability to push weight, how are we going to take it away from just load and think about other ways to stimulate muscle development, which doesn't incor incorporate more weight lifted. This is a prime example of how we can do that. 15. You're doing good. Then it's 10. Not many people get to this point, mate, to be fair. Ah! Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, big legs. Come on, you got this shit, Chris. Come on, go. Ah! Right, let's see it. Let's go. You against that fucking weight ah! now. You against the weight. One. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Two, good. Squeeze, squeeze, three, good, good, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Massive quads, man, that's why. <laughs> They're getting bigger, they bigger. Yeah, good, five, come on. Let's dig in, I see five more, come on, it's fucking strong now. And go, five, good, and go, yes, yes, four, good, and go, three, Two, big squeeze, up, 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 up. Yeah, good set. Okay, last set. There's no freedom at all. Even walking and standing like this, nothing. It's just completely trapped. It's a battle not to just go fucking Oh yeah, yeah, your, your, your mind is like wanting to get out, fighting all the time. Yeah. And you can see that you're working hard because you've got that pallor. The pallor has changed. The colour of your face has gone to like a greeny grey, which means it's fucking hurting. I can see that. And all the blood's in there. <laughs> well, let's dig in. Ten. Come on, you got this fucking ten. Come on, let's fucking have this. Come on. Strong legs. Oh, Ooh, here we go. go. Come on. Man. Ah. Yeah, good. Ah. Two. Ah. Three. Ah. Four. Ah. Five. Ah. Six. Ah. Yeah, seven. Ah. Eight. 
Let's go. Nine. One more. Big, strong fucking squeeze. Up, 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 up. Yeah, good shit, man. Well done. Over there with an RDL. So I'll set it up. So as you'll see on some of the clips, we're doing sets and reps and uh, I'm taking some pressure out of the cuffs. This is because when you've got a guy the size of Chris, as his legs get more and more engorged with blood, comparatively, the cuffs then are tighter. So the bigger the leg, then the cuff is staying the same size. Then obviously we have to remove some air if it's causing a, a lack of range of movement because it's become so engorged, which is what we've done a couple of times really more for mobility purposes rather than just uh, because of tolerance to pain. Good shit, you're fucking killing it, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if you have a massive set of balls like Chris, it's also very painful. Nice. Strong. Three. Ten, good shit. I normally go to the floor. Yeah. But it's just stopping me. Yeah, yeah. Stopping me going smoothly down. Nice. Oh. Two, good. Oh. Yeah, good work. Your form's still good, your speed's still good. It's all, it's all happening, man. It's all happening. So while Chris is having a wander, one of the things I've utilized these uh, cuffs for, particularly for other sports, so you can use them with, with swimmers uh, on their stroke uh, whilst in the pool. We can also use them with fighters. So when a fighter puts them on and, and spars, whether he's doing pad work or even technical work, what happens is that you feel like you're in your last round but you're in your first. So your technical ability, you're not mentally fatigued. Your central nervous system is not tired, but your arms are. So you're now fighting as though you were fatigued, but yet your level of skill acquisition is still very high. So that allows you to maintain your ability, your skill set whilst fatigued. You're practicing being technical whilst being tired. And that helps fighters go for rounds and rounds and maintain their, their ability. So we can use these and apply these in so many different ways and forms. So they're really, really useful. Yeah, nice. One, good. Two. Three. Four. Fucking dig in now, let's go. We're in the right place. Last two are going to be a grind. Let's go. Big squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. Yeah, nice. Last one. Yeah, yeah, good work, good work. Okay, we'll do one last set, we'll do four. Let's dig in, big strong back, fucking big hammies. And one. Two. Three, yeah, nice. And four. Yeah, good it, good. Yeah, getting it, getting it, getting it, yes. Good set, man. Right, we'll, we'll unload that in a minute. We're gonna go over to uh, the calf machine over there. Have a little play on that. I think calves, I can actually do. Yeah. They have to have some feeling in there. <laughs> yeah, you, like, yeah. calves will be a cool, yeah. Because the blood's flowing down to a degree, so. 20 reps, that's fine. Yeah. Right, let's dig in. Fucking strong. One, nice. Two. Three, good, good work. And three. Let's see it, squeeze. 
two. And last one. Up, up, yeah, yours, yours. Good shit, man, well done. Nice. Not a vibrant friendly. Uh, no, it's no, it's not. No, 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 no. No. And one. Nice. And squeeze. Two. Good. Three. Nice. Four. Five. Nine. Good work. And go. And ten. Yeah, strong calves, let's go. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good shit. Oh, nice. If you squeeze your quad a bit, we'll just push more air out. That's it. Nice. And that, my dear friends, was blood flow restriction training and is one of the most painful sessions I have ever done in my life. <laughs> oh my God. It just got progressively worse. Do you know if you did a high rep set and hit complete failure, but with a massive pump in a body part, especially your legs? Well, you hit that and then it just doesn't go. It doesn't dissipate because the cuffs are so tight, the blood doesn't leave. So you're in leg extension, leg curls, and it just sits in there, sits in there and gets worse and worse. And the pain is absolutely excruciating. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and when I got to the end and he said, uh, oh, you did really well. Most people could take them off halfway through. And I was like, that was an option. <laughs> I thought it wasn't an option. So I just kept, I thought it was just part of the process. And he said, no, yeah, most people take them off. So, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with my mindset that, that allowed me to keep going so far. Because the movement was restricted and then we had to take a bit of air out and it was just incredibly painful. Um, sadly, me and John did a, did do a roundup afterwards and discussed it a little bit more, but the, the video had no audio. So now I'm here just doing a little roundup on my own. Um, but guys, if you do ever want to do blood flow restriction, please do contact John Buckland. Uh, his Instagram is Ministry of Iron. So if you want to reach out to him and have a good session like that, get really tested to your limits. We'll learn different techniques of training because as he said, you get to a certain point and then it's just, do you go further with heavy loading? Because it's just going to trash your joints, connective tissue, and also becomes quite unsafe. If you're, you know, on, on a hack squat, a leg press, and it's, it's getting loaded up over a good few hundred kilos, and something goes wrong, it's a lot of weight, uh, you know, and you've got to be careful. Uh, and there are different ways to create progressive overloads, different ways to create stimulus. So if you're wanting to look for the maximum way to do that, you need to look at all options and not just think more load on the bar equals progress. There's lots of different ways to include progress. Do you think about the stimulus? What is the stimulus? And that can be drop sets, rest pauses, blood flow restriction, high reps, low reps. It doesn't matter. It's the stimulus is what is what matters. So guys, hopefully let's give you a little bit more insight into blood flow restriction training. For other videos like this, please do drop a comment and let, let me know what you want to see more of. I'm making a big drive to do more content going forward. Now I've got the proper setup. We are here with the lights <laughs> and just generally making everything a little bit higher quality so we can, well, so we can put out those, Im those images and videos for you guys to share my knowledge, to share my years of, of, of doing this as a lifestyle and as a coach. So hopefully you've all enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.